He said you'd come. Now let's hope you're not too late. We know each other. He's a friend from work. What's up, everybody? It's Jason here, the host of Wulong Talks. Um, welcome back, and thank you for coming to check out this episode. This is a very special bonus episode that I'll be doing here. Um, this is one of a series of episodes that we'll be putting out for you soon. Uh, basically, these episodes are short interviews that we've been able to conduct with some of the cast members behind uh, the upcoming martial arts movie epic Kung Fu Bodyguard which is being written by Ramona S.J. Lee, uh, the author that we have interviewed previously on, on other pods. Um, if you haven't heard our interviews with her, by the way, you definitely should, because uh, she is really fascinating as a person, um, and she's done some amazing work as well. So make sure you go and check those out on our podcast channel if you haven't listened to those already. But uh, as said, these bonus episodes are basically episodes that we'll be doing that will... Uh, feature some short interviews with with some of the cast and crew we weren't able to interview them at the time um, so we've had to kind of do some stuff via the magic of technology and the internet um, so what we've done is we've put together some very short episodes for you to enjoy um, with some of the cast members speaking about what they've been up to uh, the first person you're going to hear is from Ron Smorenberg uh, Ron, if you don't know who that is, is well, you should know who that is if you're a fan of Kung Fu cinema. Ron is a, an absolute legend within the genre. Um, he's had a career that spanned 20 years uh, and has worked with some of the biggest names in, in the business. Um, and not only that, he's you know developed a, a tremendous amount as an actor as well. Um, hence the reason why he's in Kung Fu Bodyguard. So um, we're going to have a chat with Ron. So you'll hear a little bit of uh, Ron talking about uh, a few things, such as what he's doing um, within the movie, what role he'll be playing, um, some of his experiences throughout his career and how he kind of got into the role and what he hopes to bring to the role. So have a listen to Ron and hope you enjoy it. Peace out. Hi, everyone. This is Ron Smorenberg from Bangkok, Thailand. Uh, where I live for about 13 years. I do action movies in Asia. Work with uh, yeah a lot of people, of course. Uh, Jackie Chan, uh, Donnie Yen, Tony Ja. We just finished uh, Triple Threat, which is an action movie. It's a kind of expendables of, uh, of martial arts action stars. Ico was there, Scott Atkins, Tony Ja, Jija. Uh, yeah, a lot of people. Michael Bisping. Michael J. White, so that's going to be interesting, but now let's talk about Kung Fu Bodyguard, and in Kung Fu Bodyguard, I will play uncle, so the uncle of Sophie, uh, my brother, which is her dad, uh, gets murdered, and of course, they, they kind of suspect me in there, they think it's me, but I'm a very charming man, and uh, I have a lot of, a big network, which seems to be very clean and solid, but actually it's not, and uh, so, yeah, my character have to convince her, kind of, that, um, that she's in good hands, actually, she's not. If I say more, uh, I have to be careful because it might have spoilers. I think this is already, it gives already enough because um, you never know, right? Uh, if you tell the whole movie, then it will not be interesting to watch. But definitely, uh, the, this character is very important. So, so I'm going to really prepare this in a very nice way to give it uh, its own style. So yeah, so how do I hope to bring this role? is uh, with a lot of variation, unpredictable. Uh, I can change moods very quick. So the audience doesn't really know like uh, what's next. And, and this unpredictability is, uh, I think that's interesting. And also, I think I can play a good and bad guy. I'll have my own movie next year. 
So having that in in uh, in sight, right? Being the good guy for the first time, this is a kind of maybe a kind of good mix of uh, showing kind of both sides. Yeah, I love to play bad guys because bad guys they don't sleep. They don't need to look good all the time, right? They don't they don't have to be perfect. They they can just skip one night and uh just keep working and uh <laughs> you know, just look rough and it doesn't really matter. Uh yeah, and bad guys they they are allowed to do a lot of stuff. So I like it, but I've done it for almost 20 years now and, and people also told me and I really feel it myself I can also be a good guy and, and um, I don't know I, I always have a feeling for justice and somehow I want to also bring that into movies like like a, like a, like a Punisher kind of kind of uh, uh, character I started in movies in 1997 um, with Jackie Chan in the movie Who Am I basically they they were looking for uh, extras in the background 3,000 extras for the movie uh, Yeah, Who Am I with Jackie Chan uh, I, I was one of them and it it was even hard to, to be, become one of those 3,000 uh, I was like a business guy on the set I showed them my show reel, uh, some videotape, and they said uh, they were not interested. The Dutch stunt team, so I gave it to Jackie Chan's stunt team, and they looked at this video in a break. We had those old video cassettes at the time, and they put it in the in, in the video recorder. And uh, suddenly they called me over, like, "Hey, is that you?" And I had to do a screen test straight on the spot with cameras. The whole team was watching, and and uh, I had to do. Yeah, the moves I showed in the in, in the in the video. Then two Jackie Chan stunt members came and they showed some combo. Luckily, it was something I, I always kind of practiced or copied from the movies, from the Jean-Claude Van Damme movies, some reactions and some punches. So it went quite smooth. And then they, uh, they said, okay, you're going to get the final fight in this movie. And uh, you are the best of 20 guys doing audition for this part. And uh, so, yeah, we really want you. And, uh, yeah, that's like, basically like winning a lottery. This was a very nice part. Really a nice part. But there was also a lot of pressure because it was my first movie. And Jackie Chan team is basically the most demanding in the world, I think. Next to Donnie Yen. So... Yeah, so my favorite role wasn't that. It was a great role, but not my favorite one. I think my favorite role is in Brothers. It's a remake of Warrior, of the Warrior movie, when uh, two brothers are basically ending up to fight against each other. And I was in the in the semi-finals, and it was a very, very big fight. And I worked with 8711, the team from uh, from the US, and they did an amazing job, like really make me look really good, the way I really want to be. The problem with some movies is you cannot show all your moves, or you cannot look better than the main guy, and this is has been hitting me for years. Like I never can really show what I really can do, and and that kind of hurts. So yeah, uh, your own movie is great. Uh, I'm sure in uh, in Kung Fu Bodyguard, I'm allowed to do my own choreo, to do basically what I want, and that is good. I always think the the flower has to be open for everyone in, in, in every every uh, every job. And then everybody will shine. Also, um, yeah, about what, what my favorite uh, time and story in my career is, is there's a lot of epic moments. Like sometimes we play epic movies, like riding horses, doing swords. There was this Chinese Lord of the Rings. It's called Asura. I was there for seven months. It was just an adventure. We were shooting very far in the mountains. Sometimes there was even like a, like rocks coming down and, and the road was blocked. Uh, yeah, it was such an adventure. Riding horse, got hit by horses. Uh, sword fighting, very heavy suit, 30 kilos and stuff, my leg popping out, uh, being injured, uh, yeah, it's all part of it, it's all part of it, and, and you have to kind of accept that, insecurity, sometimes about payment, or about the next shooting day, or, or you never know, uh, in this business, basically, but that's what makes it interesting, and that's why I always say, guys and girls, life is action, and just go for it, 
we can always end up uh, in, in some security jobs, but if you have really have a passion, I always say, try it and go for it and, and, and uh, do it now, do it now, don't wait. Do it now, see what happens. You cannot lose if you try, even if you fall down hard, uh, you cannot lose. And that's why I respect Ramona a lot. And she's young and she has this very good ambition. And I think she uh, she has all support. She has all my support. Uh, of course, I can only do what I can do. But within that uh, range, I, I, she got all support. Uh, I love to play this movie. And, and um, I really look forward to start shooting. So, yeah, everyone, uh, keep the heads up. And uh, I love it. And uh, I will always say life is action. And I uh, hope to talk to you soon. I also like to say maybe for another question uh, I will I will uh, record it now um, I think this movie is very interesting Kung Fu Bodyguard uh, it's an interesting story interesting plot uh, also it's a it's a cooperation from people from different countries so so when this team comes together I think it's going to be very interesting a lot of different experiences from people from Asia I have my friend Mark in there Mark Stas which is an amazing martial artist I always love to work with him I fought with him in the movie called English Dogs I can tell you that that this guy is uh, so fast and so effective and it looks good on screen that that this is three in one and he's also gonna be in Kung Fu Bodyguard so yeah we bring the the good people in and and yeah this is this is just great so yeah again uh it's gonna be awesome so that's ron smorenberg there uh thank you to ron for taking the time to record that for us um as you can hear i mean the the passion that he has for kung fu bodyguard and for what he does in general is really infectious um you know as said ron is a real legend of, of the screen and it's going to be really exciting to see how he blends with the other cast members and everybody else as they come together on, on the Kung Fu Bodyguard set. So make sure you're following that to stay up to date with all the developments. Uh, if you want to find out more about Kung Fu Bodyguard, you can always check out the official Facebook page, um, which is just Kung Fu Bodyguard on Facebook. Now, I'll post up a link for that as well, so you'll be able to check that out on the Facebook website. Um, they also have an official Instagram as well. So if you're an Instagrammer, check them on Instagram. It's Kung Fu Bodyguard on Instagram and you'll find them there. Okay, well, thanks a lot for listening. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. And we'll be back again with some more short interviews very, very soon. In the meantime, take care and we'll catch you on the other side. Peace. Thanks for listening to us. If you're down with Wulong Talks, show some love by following us on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram at Wulong Talks. You can also find us online at www.wulongtalks.com or drop us an email at wulongtalkspodcast at gmail.com. We can also be found as part of the BrickPod Scene Collective and we're also officially E14 endorsed. Search for those hashtags to enjoy more content from us and from other great British podcasters. 